So now in this video, we're going to look at parallel resistors again. For the example for this video, we're going to use a 1000 ohm, 10,000 ohm, and 100,000 ohm resistors connected in parallel. That means uh, opposite ends are all connected together. We're going to have the equivalent if they were perfect in their values. Unfortunately, resistors are not. Um, but if that was their exact values, we would have uh, 900.9 ohms, which I rounded off to 901 ohms. The main takeaway though is whenever resistors are in parallel, their equivalent resistance will be less than the lowest value resistor, which in this case would be 1000 ohms. We're going to be about 100 ohms short of that. So now when it comes to the formula, this is the basic formula you want to use. There's other forms, but it's uh, the same basic formula for calculating uh, parallel resistors when there's three or more. You can do it when there's two or more as well, but there's a simpler formula for two or more. You would just ignore this third one. And you can just keep adding more, four or five. Uh, doesn't matter. But in uh, any case, we have the one divided by this result here. So first we're going to focus on this result. You can see here we got one divided by R1. So that gives us the inverse of the resistance of R1, which is the conductance which is in units uh, Siemens. So uh, that's down there. We got one divided by 1,000. You got 0 .001 uh, Siemens. I didn't add the S though. It might look like a five or whatnot. Um, so I just put the results there without Siemens, but that's what it is. Uh, so that's how well it's gonna connect. Uh, you put one volt times 0 .001 Siemens, you get one milliamp of current. Same as uh, one volt divided by 1,000 ohms gives you a, uh, one milliamp of current. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but in case, again, with R2, one divided by, uh, oops, over there, one divided by 10,000 will give us that result, and one divided by 100,000 will give us that result. Uh, we just keep doing that with all the resistors, and then we add up those values. So for this, we'll get that 0 0.00111 Siemens right there. And uh, so we still got the one over here, the one up there. Now we're going to get the inverse of conductance in Siemens, which is resistance. So that's just one divided by the conductance in Siemens. That'll give us 900.9 right there. So it just keeps uh, going 900, 900, 900, 900, and so on. So I just uh, put uh, 900.900 and I rounded it off to 901 for the example up there. So now we're going to do a uh, measurement. So this is also going to show us don't have power going to the resistors. They are just in their own rows. The meter provides power and a powering that might damage the meter. So this should say uh, it's in kilo ohms up there. Um, it should say 100, but it's off about 1%, which is actually their rated value to be about 1% higher or lower than their rated value. Um, so maybe we're a little bit off, but uh, there is about 99,000 ohms instead of 100 and uh, here we got about uh, so that's in kilo ohms again it's supposed to be 10 kilo ohms uh, we're not doing as good we're closer to two percent off but about uh, 9,800 uh, ohms right there so these are uh, cheap resistors uh, higher quality resistors they'll probably be do doing better but they are one percent tolerance uh, resistors so you can't expect about one percent difference which we have again here so this is the main thing though uh, pay attention to that let's uh, just say uh, 0.99 ohms so we saw that with the calculation we'll have about 100 ohms less if we uh, parallel them and uh, so we had a point uh, 0.99 basically so now we should see a point 0.89 about 100 ohms less right there. So that's in kilo ohms, thousands of ohms. And uh, there you can see we got about uh, 898 right there. So about 100 ohms less than the 100 ohm resistor by itself. It is lower though, they all are uh, because of tolerance and they're cheap, which probably makes it even worse. Um, but uh, it is what it is. You always gotta pay attention to that stuff in electronics. Uh, stuff hardly ever works out like the calculations does. You, you have to factor in other stuff, but the calculation gets you close. So in any case, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.